Leo, what is up? I hope you guys are doing well. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Leo? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Leo. Please and thank you. So we have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands, <coughs> Three of Cups. So you guys could have some sort of reunion here with someone or just some sort of celebration as well. You guys could have been, some of y'all could about, uh, some of you guys could be on the verge of graduating. And this is a huge achievement overall energy is nine of cups so you guys will find yourself extremely happy i'm getting like some shocking a shocking turn of events with the tower and the wheel of fortune here but it looks like whatever these events are is going to make you very happy because it looks like the old way of living is about to significant uh, significantly change for you now i do get some some of let me get my speech together. Someone here could have been going to college. You went back to school. You've been studying up on something. And it looks like it got really difficult for you. To the point where you was like, I don't know if I can complete this. Like, this is damn near impossible. I, and I see you, you toughed it out. You fought through it. And I do see, like, you are about to be celebrating. Like, things are about to change in your life. You toughed it out. You put the hard work into something. And things are about to sniff, uh, significantly change. I see you being very happy. Very proud of yourself here for what you have accomplished. And I see, like, your loved ones coming together and celebrating with you. But things are not about to be the same. Things are about to significantly change for you. I do. Some of y'all, like, things could have been delayed like your graduation could have been delayed because you could have, you didn't meet the requirements. So you didn't graduate when you were hoping to graduate, but here you're about to uh, make it to the finish line. It looks like someone here got some big news to celebrate and it doesn't have to be like college, but there is something I see like you toughed it out. And because you toughed it out, you fought through it, you're about to find yourself celebrating. You're about to find yourself celebrating with your loved ones for what you have achieved. And your life is about to completely change in a very positive way. So. Let's see. Messages for Leos who... <clears throat> are in a relationship messages for the leos who are in a relationship please and thank you messages for the leos in a relationship please and thank you some of y'all some of y'all could have recently met this person Yeah, I do see this as like a fairly new relationship um, because I see this in the beginning stages. Like you guys have just started really talking, really considering yourself being in a relationship. Um, some of you guys may not be showing how interested you actually are in this person or you feel like they're doing it to you. But I do get this sense of this overall sense of excitement and joy coming from your energy and this person's energy as well how's this person feel about leo how's this person feel about leo um let me see <clears throat> You know, this person feels like, okay, so this is for a Leo who has been in a toxic relationship in the past because the person that you're currently with, they are very happy. They love you very much here, but they feel like you have a tendency to run um, and not meaning like you 
literally um, run away. But you do have a tendency to push this person away, to uh, put your wall up here. And it's really because you end up getting triggered by, um, like, if they say something, you heard a karmic ex say that in the past, then it triggers you. And it's not that this person is intentionally trying to trigger you. They don't know. But they do understand that they understand the reason why you act the way you do. They understand that it's because of what you have experienced in the past connection. But this person wants a serious relationship with you. They find themselves being very happy with you. And they do love you unconditionally. And it shows because they understand the reason why you act the way you do. They are understanding. So I do see you and this person going far. The best part is they are understanding of you. They don't judge you. They love you unconditionally. They seek understanding not to judge. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Messages for Leos who are in separation from their person. Messages for Leos who are in separation from their person. Please and thank you. Leos who are in separation. Oh, let me see. <clears throat> One more for karmic relationship. No, I do see ultimately you will finally cut this person permanently out your life. And I do see like you trying to approach this situation differently, but ultimately I do see like you will have to cut this person out of your life because they are toxic. You may find them very attractive, but they're too toxic and this is not a healthy relationship for you at all. So it's, it's good for you to stay separated from this person. <clears throat> Messages for single Leos. Messages for single Leos, please and thank you. I do get like a really good energy coming from uh, your reading though, Leo. I do get like a lot of positive changes coming toward <coughs> towards you. The longer I talk, like the more I start to get this cough. So <coughs> and you guys are my third reading right now. So let me take a sip of water. I'm sorry. Okay. Messages for single Leos, please and thank you. Okay, so I definitely see your love life transforming completely. And the reason why is because you have transformed completely. As I see you finally attracting like a stable connection towards you, because it looks like the relationships you attracted in the past just did not offer any sense of security nor stability. And you realize that is what you truly desire. You truly desire stability and security. And it looks like that's exactly what you're attracting. I do get new energy um, coming through this spread here. My voice is like literally all over the place. I don't even know. <clears throat> but I do get new energy coming through. And someone who can definitely offer you what you've been seeking, but have yet to find. Yeah, you're going to be talking to someone. Uh, this will be a very he uh, healthy relationship as well. So I do see the next person that you will be meeting is actually the person that you'll end up spending the rest of your life with, or at least a long time with. So... <clears throat> Let's do career and finances. <coughs> this is going to be the last one for me. Career and finances. Please and thank you. You don't have any homework. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> oh Lord, I'm gonna tell you what. Okay. Messages regarding career and finances. You know, that was teasing me in the Sagittarius uh, reading because I, I, I didn't realize I have a tendency to say, you know what? My mom says that all the time. I know I get that from her. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was saying it like in the reading. So, okay. So we got the Eight of Pentacles coming through. So you guys are being guided to like really focus um, and support all your attention towards building something here. <clears throat> there could be a form of apprentice, apprenticeship as well. You know, um, the Ten of Cups, I'm not sure. It looked like it, it could have been trying to come through. Let me see what why is the magician showing up in reverse real quick. I'm sorry. Ooh, so <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you what. Whoever's whoever has been trying to manipulate you or deceive you at your job, there will be justice served here. Some of you guys may end up having to take legal action um, against someone and completely withdrawing your energy from this person. But I do see justice being served in a particular situation where someone was trying to manipulate you. I am getting that you're being guided not to lose focus, to really pour all, all of your efforts towards building something here for yourself. Your advice is the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in reverse. <laughs> so the Ace of Swords in reverse talks about miscommunication. Um, also talks about like creative blocks as well. I'm going to tell you what, not to, not to allow yourself to reach a point where you become so frustrated because you're trying to force something out of yourself. That's really what I'm getting at. I'm hoping that it makes sense for whoever this is for. But when you find yourself in that energy to kind of take a step back, to do something that you enjoy, to take and actually completely take your mind off of whatever is stressing you out. Like if you are writing a book and you reach a point where you don't know what's right and that's your sign to step away and to do something that you enjoy. I do see like, Part of your issue here is you are really trying to figure out what will make you truly happy. Like, it's even though you can see yourself being happy doing this, being happy doing that, it's like, but which one will make me truly happy? Because I get that you understand you need to focus on one thing here. You can't continue to spray yourself thin. So I do see you trying to pour out all of your energy and focus um, towards one particular endeavor here. But I do see right now is this energy of you really trying to decide, will I truly be happy doing this? <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, tell you this as well. So I'm going to pop. I'm going to tell you this as well. A lot of you guys are going to find yourself becoming more successful. Like if you are in a partnership with someone, a lot of you guys are going to find yourself becoming more successful uh, when you do something independently here. Yeah. It looks like some of y'all, yeah, commitment. So some of y'all could have signed contracts as well. But it's almost like you're legally obligated to some sort of partnership here <clears throat> or you feel like I don't know you may have partnered up with someone that really I'm getting this person a spiritual lesson for you but it's some form of deceit that's going on here I do see ultimately they will be exposed unfortunately some of y'all may have been close with this person only to realize that they don't have the best interests really for you here and they've been manipulating you and ultimately you will end up having to withdraw your energy from this relationship this partnership but i'm gonna tell you what as soon as you do you will find yourself becoming very successful and achieving exactly what you set out to achieve here 
because you're going from the eight of pentacles to the nine but the only thing that's uh blocking you from reaching this point is some sort of partnership with someone i'm getting this magician in reverse and if you're already at a job like if you're if you're at a company a nine to job or a nine to, <coughs> a nine to five here <coughs> Someone may feel like, okay, so there could be someone at the job that's used to doing things a particular way. And when you come, you're a hard worker, but you also bring change, which makes this person uncomfortable because they don't like change. They don't handle change very well. So then now they have a problem with you. But the thing is, I do like this person could do something to try to get you fired. But the thing is, people truly respect you. They respect like you're a hard worker. It's nothing negative that they can really say about you. So <clears throat> ultimately, I see it backfiring on this person who's ever trying to work against you. Now, if you're in a partnership with someone, you have your own business, be mindful of that person. I'm getting like some of you guys have already received the signs that you needed to. So why wait till things escalate if you've been warned time and time again? like you'll be receiving communication from someone that you feel like you can be yourself around some of y'all the issue is you feel like even if this person was to come back around it's not going to last so you're kind of going back and forth in your head as to whether you should actually entertain <clears throat> this connection again if you truly don't feel like it's going to go anywhere Overall energy is a union here. Now, I'm going to tell you what. <clears throat> I do get this energy of someone being interested in you. The crazy part is I'm not getting this person coming through. Like I get, I get them, but the main message that I'm getting is an ex. And not your ex. I'm getting that the person that you will be uh, connecting with will have this jealous ex. And somehow they have someone here that's able to give information about your connection with this person to the ex. But I do get, they could have been married to this person, but this person is definitely bitter that they have lost their or the person that they wanted to spend the rest of their life with. And they're looking like you stole this person from them, but you didn't. I do get that there's someone's very someone that is very interested in you and it looks like it's moving towards a very serious relationship between the two of you but you will have this person this ex that will try to create issues in this connection Honey, some of y'all may even get a phone call from the ex. I really get like your main focus right now is your finances at this time. And it whether it's because you're trying to improve your finances or you just are that type of person where you're very... Uh, focus on 
you know what? You can put up your guard all you want with this person. They they see right through it. Oh my gosh. Let me <clears throat> let me get one more. One more. You know what? Let me get one for union. Honey. I see a, a situation between you and someone because the message that I'm getting, because now this person is coming through. They could be a sporty individual, very athletic, but I'm getting that you attract a lot of attention. You are adored by a lot of people here. But the thing is, I don't see like you are a attention seeking type of person. You're pretty reserved here, which attracts a lot of people towards you, but it also attracts dark energies towards you because it, I'm getting that you're um, an empath as well. Someone's really interested in you, but the way you're looking at this person is like, this is not going to go anywhere. Like you don't see this lasting for a long time, but to your surprise, it's actually going to turn into a long-term relationship. Neither one of you could actually see this coming, but I don't, I'm, you know what? I'm really getting that you don't realize how interested someone actually is um, because it's like, I'm getting like from you, you're the one who is thinking that this is not going to last, but it's actually going to take you by surprise because I see you and this person actually um, becoming very serious with one another. Because I'm I'm really getting this energy of like, okay, you can tell this person is attracted to you. And it's almost like you're just teasing this person because you know that they're attracted to you. But since you don't think it's going to go anywhere, you're just really teasing them. But then it actually ends up going somewhere. That's the thing. So I don't know. I'm That's all I'm really getting. I'm going to leave it there. But this is these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, some of you guys, I don't know why, like I'm being drawn towards fern here on this candle. Some of you guys could like that show between two ferns. I think this or your person will they'll mention that. <clears throat> or someone could like ferns. They keep a lot of ferns hanging in their house or outside their house, around their house. Someone likes ferns. There's something here with ferns that's going to be significant to this relationship. So I'll leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.